at some point it would probably get to me. Mm. You know, but why? <laughs> just listening to you. <laughs> Hey kids, welcome back to Shelly and Nay, where you know and we're on is poppin'. If you're new to our channel, welcome. We love you already. So today, guys, we are here to answer some freakily questions that you guys have, those burning, pressing questions, which is why we in the bed, because it's going to get freaky. I'm just kidding. So we put on our <laughs> YouTube community thing and our Instagram to ask us some questions because we need to do an updated Q&A, blah, 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 right, take, take, dee, 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 ling. So that's what we're gonna do today, guys. But before we get into this beautiful, sexy Q&A, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell if you're nasty, and don't forget to tell your besties, y'all. Tell everyone you know about Shelly and Nate because we are on the road to two. Okay, you guys, we are definitely growing and we're feeling the love, so. Keep doing what you do, we'll do what we do. Question number one, without further ado, is how is marriage life? Marriage life is great. It's It literally feels the same, but like you just want to be on vacation 24-7. Yeah. Is that accurate, would you say? You want to be on vacation 24 7? Like, you feel like you're on vacation Like, 24/7. sorry, I think that's what I meant to say. Like, you feel like you're on vacation 24 7, but because you actually have to work, you're not on vacation 24 7, but you want to be because you're with the love of your life. Does that make sense? That was a really nice way to put it. Thanks, babe. I think it's great. I don't know how to explain it. It's like we made it type of thing. Yeah. Knowing that it really is written now is, you know, it's pretty crazy. It's in the books. Yeah. Question number two. Tips for staying organized in a condo. Oh, I actually really like that question. I like that question too. My, and I think Shelly really got me onto this too, is buying a lot of things that include storage. So I feel like staying organized in a condo, obviously most condos, they're smaller, I guess smaller than a house or smaller than what you might be used to. So the best things to do is I would say to get a lot of storage items. So for instance, Shelly and I, we got a bed that's that storage. We got, um, what do we call it, babe? Couch? Sectional, yeah. yeah. We got a sectional that's storage and is there anything else? We got a dresser, which you guys are sitting on right now, so you're welcome. It's a doubler, so instead of getting like a, a small dresser and a medium dresser or whatever, you know, you have the different size dresses. We just got one that's like a double. You guys have seen it in the past videos. Anyways, so we have that and they're deep drawers. Media storage, yeah, yeah which is also a really good thing because it's off the ground, so it makes it feel like it's more spacious and that was a goal of ours to make it look mm -hmm. like there's ample space in here because it's not a huge unit, right? So we wanted to make sure that we had things that made the place look bigger and mm. um, more organized. That's like one of our main tips is to get furniture for yourself that includes storage because you'll thank yourself in the long run, you will be much happier. Don't worry about the price too much. Obviously don't go crazy. Like for us, we always find the best deals possible but also you have to think about your future so if you are going to spend a little bit more but it'll be an investment don't worry about that part because if you're investing in okay my couch has storage my bed has storage like this is this that has storage you will have peace of mind and you'll have a clutter free home and it'll just be it'll work out for you in the end so don't worry about spending that extra little bit of money if you have to yeah, right? absolutely, because you, you'll find when you actually 
if you're moving to a condo, if you're like downsizing or whatever the case is, you're gonna realize that every nook and cranny is so incredibly valuable that you'll actually probably just wanna start throwing things out that you don't need or mm -hmm. selling it or getting rid of it or donating it. But yeah. just if you have a hard time doing that, the storage will help you because like Shelly and I, under this bed, we have so much the stuff. The whole other apartment. It guys. really is. It's like, it is. Another quick tip, throw things away. Throw them away, even if you think you're gonna use them or it could come in handy, throw it away. Cause you're not gonna use it and you didn't use it for a year. So that is throw so it away. true. Throw it away. <laughs> that thing that you're always like, oh, but like, what if I need it? If you haven't needed it by now, you're not gonna need it ever. Throw it out. Yeah. You'll thank yourself later, as I keep saying. Yeah. And if you do that, you'll also save a lot of money because Nan and I don't pay for a locker at our condo because I know that a lot of people pay for lockers and things like that when they are living in a condo and we don't need to because we downsize a lot and we are as close to minimalist as we can be. That is definitely <laughs> true. The amount per month, I think you could say of Save. <laughs> <laughs> you could save on like a locker storage like that adds up to hundreds of dollars at the end of the year yeah. so don't play you it's know what true. i mean like yeah just figure it out live as minimal I'm, uh, we're not even forcing people to live minimally mm -hmm. at the end of the day if you want to keep stuff all over the place in your condo that is totally up to you some people thrive mm -hmm. in clutter shelly and i do not things have to be put away mm -hmm. or thrown out if i see it and it's not put away i'm most likely tossing it yeah 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 there's so many things guys i feel like we could do a whole video on tips to keeping your condo what was the question to keep your condo neat organized, organized yeah mm -hmm. it's just there's so many things we could get into but main things are get storage furniture and throw things away uh, because you will save money in the end and keep things off the floor like as much stuff that you can put up in the cupboards and like have shelves and things like mm -hmm. that do that because once everything is higher, it'll actually make your space look taller, give you more space, and yeah. you won't have clutter all over the ground. You feel like you're gonna trip on everything, yeah. which is why I love our media storage because it's up on the wall, mm -hmm. so you have that open floor space. So even though you can't walk there, or sit there, or anything, it still looks way more open and gives you that cleaner, more open feel. So. It does, it does, yeah. and that helps so much. Where oh, this is gonna be a whole other video on its own. Where is your favorite place to shop online? Oh my lord. Endless, endless, endless possibilities. Anything that's an aeroplane partner, I'll just First say that. <laughs> of all, we, I just need to put out there that I am a huge aeroplan points collector. So mm -hmm. anytime I'm online shopping, I check to see if the place I'm going to go shop at is an aeroplane. Yeah, you can do it. It's an Aeroplan partner, and I will go through my Aeroplan and then <laughs> go to that store site and then start shopping. But so that's like the first important thing. Mm -hmm. um, but basically, my favorite places are oh my god, Sephora, yeah, ASOS, Pretty Little Thing. God, it's so hard because there's so <laughs> many, and I feel like there's also some that I haven't even shopped at yet, but they're on like my wish list, I guess mm -hmm. you could say. Mm -hmm. Um, what's, what's one that I just, oh my god, Wayfair has been like accidentally a thing, mm -hmm. kind of. Not hardcore, but just like, you know. Yeah, Wayfair, yeah, you're a big Wayfair girl. I'm yeah, always yeah. looking out on Wayfair just because sometimes mm -hmm. they have crazy deals for stuff that like I'll have looked at. Yeah. And it'll have been expensive and then it drops in like hundreds of dollars and I'm like, oh, time to get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I would probably just say those few places are like the main did I forget any babe? Because I feel like I'm always telling you. You're always, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Gymshark. Gymshark, oh my god, Gymshark is so annoying. Ugh, and if you guys don't know, Whitney Simmons just did a collab with Gymshark. Oh, and what is a girl to do? Anyways, guys, again, that's a whole other thing. No one needs to get into that right now. But natural holy, market. Natural market. Oh, babe, yes, come through. I <laughs> forgot that the natural market. Oh my god, well. If you guys know oh, yeah, about well, well, also, okay. they're my new go-to for all yeah. things wellness. Mm -hmm. And it's even, oh, I can't. It's not as um, food related, like natural market, but it has more wellness, like vitamins and supplements and clean, like non-toxic household products, just a whole bunch of things. Like well is so good. A lot of good brands that they carry too. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely some good brands, affordable brands. Guys, it's endless, I feel like 
that question was all about me. It's so annoying. What about you, Shells? No, that was for you. Really to be you. honest, like I'm not going to sit here and act like I never shopped online before because I definitely have for things that we've needed, but mm -hmm. I'm not a big shopper. I've never been a big shopper, and it's not because I don't like it. It's just, I don't know. I can't really explain it. I've just never been a big shopper. I'm a big saver. She is. I nice. would, you know, like I would be the person that needs... Boots, this is a true story. I need boots and I go look at boots in the mall and you know, I'll look at everything, look online, whatever I have to do, and then I'll be like, I don't actually need them though. Like, you know, just to put, because I'm thinking, okay, I'm gonna spend this money on the boots, I just put that in my savings. I'm this surviving without these boots, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, I always convince myself to, like, I talk myself out of buying things if I have that feeling. But if it's for somebody else, I'll just, here, just take my. Yeah, she's mm -hmm. very good like that. But for yeah. herself, she has to think about it 18 times, walk around the moon for three <laughs> days, and like, it's just always the whole thing. I'm like, babe, you need to get it. And like, sometimes she will, but most times she won't. So I feel like I'm the one who's like, oh, babe, do we need this? I found a great deal. Mm -hmm. Babe, I, I saw this. I know you were looking for this. It's a good deal right now. Like, I'll mm -hmm. get it for you. I can get airplane points as well. Like, mm -hmm. it's always a whole thing with shells, but it's, yeah. it's, it's with good intent because she's always like, hmm, like, maybe we can just not buy that right now, babe. Maybe we can watch the price. Maybe we don't need to look at that at all. Realistically, we don't need it. Mm -hmm. Rah, 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 blah, blah, blah. So mm -hmm. we're both a little bit different in that regard, but... I think we also really balance each other out in that way. I know that wasn't also the question, but just saying. <laughs> She's throwing it out there. throwing it in there. Yeah, yeah, no, for me, shopping is like, I'm not saying I wouldn't enjoy it, but I feel like in the future when we have more disposable income, mm -hmm. we can do that. Like, let's say money wasn't a question. There's definitely things that I've thought about that I'd be like, oh yeah, I really would want that. Mm -hmm. I really want this and that to do for myself. But at the moment, it's just, I'm surviving without it. If anything that I can survive without, I won't get it. Yeah. So that's how I see shopping. But like I said, if money wasn't an option, I feel like I would still have that mindset, but I would be a little bit more lenient yeah. and be like, okay, you know what? Let's get a t-shirt today. Like, you know what I mean? yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. And one more thing I want to say is that we, not a lot, but we do a lot of our like, I want to say like certain household wellness things as well as some certain groceries we do get online only because we can only get it at certain online retailers so that's also why I'm always yeah. like browsing online shopping and I'm just because I love to sit there and shop like I also have to work for a living and save my money and pay for a beautiful <laughs> condo yeah. but it's just like you know I think I'm on it more because I'm so into so many wellness items that I can only get in specific spots and I know Shelly also loves those certain things too, but she's not as keen on keeping up with it. So I'll kind of keep up with it for us and I'll be like, oh babe, like mm -hmm. this, like our collagen peptides, for instance, we can only get <laughs> vital protein. Surviving so, without it, but. Surviving, but not, feeling better with it yeah. is all I can say. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's a whole other thing again, so. <laughs> Quarantine cooking. What are new recipes you've tried? Ooh, that's a good question. Cook. Have we tried anything like super new? Or I feel like guys, honestly, Shelly does a lot of the cooking and I feel like she's mostly like, hey, like what do we have in the fridge? And let me just throw something cool together. Like I feel like- Yeah, that's the thing with me. Like if, if you mean recipes, like real recipes that you look up online and say, oh, how do I make fried chicken, for example? I don't do that. Like I, I don't think I've ever done that. I think yeah. I've done it to, if I'm trying to bake something because I don't bake. And baking is very specific. But I'll try different things. Like the other day I did stuff. Oh my god, gosh, she did this weird <laughs> thing. She did a stuffed smoked salmon. Mm. What the heck did it have in it? So I, I did uh, Brussels sprouts. I cooked Brussels sprouts. Uh, well, no, I seasoned it. I did Brussels sprouts, mm. cream cheese, and some seasoning. And I wrapped <laughs> I wrapped it with smoked salmon and I baked it because you don't actually need to cook the smoked salmon But I just baked it in order to get the, the Brussels sprouts and the and the, um, the cream cheese like softened whatever mm -hmm. So yeah, she really enjoyed it. So stuff like that. But again, it's just anything that comes to my head I'm very creative in the kitchen. She so is, yeah. I just think of things that might go together but this one, I think you've tried a couple new, you were recipe testing for your desserts. I was recipe testing guys, and I was trying to come up with a paleo donut. Yeah. Like, um, what do you call it? Kind of like a cinnamon sugar, like tasting donut, mm -hmm. or like kind of more on the lines of like old fashioned, like plain mm -hmm. style. I had, I think, 
one failed attempt and then one attempt where it definitely turned out a bit better. But that's still something I'm working on. And then, you know, apple crisp. Which, to be fair, is go uh, watch that video. Yeah, go watch that video, guys, if you haven't seen my apple crisp video. Mm -hmm. The inspo did come from someone else's recipe, I do want to say, but mm -hmm. I did change up a lot of the ingredients. So I always try to make it my own or try to yeah. like healthify it a little bit. Healthify it. Healthify if we can. <laughs> All right, this one's funny. It says, as the year is close to ending, who won 2020 prank wars, Shelly or Nay? Ah! I will say Nay. I'll give it to you. But I will it's say too, crown. just to give myself credit, it's because of my reactions though, I feel. Because you can't just win a prank war if the person, because I feel like my pranks are lit, but you just, mm -hmm. ha you're not like, like you don't pop off like me. I pop off in a different way, I feel like. Like I feel like I just get really emotional. Because that's the thing you guys, that's the thing about the pranks that we do. Like I have to prank Nan what would get her going and upset and she has to prank me on what would get me upset right mm -hmm. so for her it's like more emotional stuff for me it's emotional too but it's i can't really explain it it's like my i don't know i guess we just pop off differently we do she, she shuts down and i pop off that's what that's i was gonna <laughs> say i feel like i'm very much like hey well don't talk to me don't look at me like you're cut and she'll just start like yelling and getting <laughs> mad and like wanting to get like very like physically like like into not with it. you though. No, 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 I didn't yeah, say with no. me. I'm just saying you want to just get physically into it. Like you're kind of more whatever. But like <laughs> for me, I'm just like bye. You know, yeah. like I'm done with you. Like whatever. But trust me, guys. I pop off. I'm not. Yeah, she does. I'm still cooking up though, guys. Don't worry. 2020 is not even over yet. Yeah, maybe you can redeem yourself. I still gave it to you though, so I'm not a sore loser. Yeah, that's true, guys. I'm the sore loser. I will not lie. This one says, do you guys want to be parents? It's a pretty good question. It's a great question. No. <laughs> well, technically we are parents already. I was going to say, I was going to carry on and say that, yeah. Yeah. Plant parents is okay, but other than that, it's a no-go. Yeah. Yeah. We can leave it at that. We can leave it at that, yeah. yeah. We're gonna go a little bit I was gonna go too, but I'm like, you know, maybe that's just for another time. Yeah, yeah. Comment down line. below. Why do you think comment down below? Like, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Our next question is from our YouTube sis, blah blah blog, aka Marsha, aka M Dulce. I hope I said it properly because I don't do anything properly. You but, do. Hey girl. <laughs> she said, Bum bada bum bada bum bada bum bada bum bada bum ghetto drum roll. <laughs> I'm gonna insert it, I don't care. Okay, I'm girl. inserting your ghetto drum roll because it's one of my favorite <laughs> things ever. Bum bada bum bada bum bada bum bada bum That's my ghetto drum roll. <laughs> my throat is so that was. Yeah, oh my, my throat God. is really dry right now. So wow. I didn't do it properly. I can get more bass up in there just just hang on. Yeah, just hang on. This is my throat is really dry right now, you guys. Oh my god. Anyways, back to Miss um, Dulce over here. She said, if you guys could pick up and move to a new city anywhere, where would y'all go? Where would you go? Oh my god, that's really hard. But I really do love Paris. Like, you're I really, I love Paris and I love New York City. Where where would you go, babe? Oh my god, you're just using the comforter as a you have the wipes over there that well, I they're all the way over there, sweetie. Okay. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think I've visited enough places. Like I've done a lot of traveling in my years, but I feel like I still haven't visited enough places to answer the question properly. I mean, we'll always change. Like even you could change like the Absolutely. next time we travel, whatever, whatever, but I absolutely love the city that we live in just for comfort. Like if I'm gonna move somewhere and live somewhere, I'm comfortable here. Yeah. To visit, That's I'll nice. visit anywhere. I don't mind to visit, but to pick up and move, I can't answer that yet. Like I need to do a little bit more exploring and more traveling with you. Yeah. Like I've never visited a place yet where it was like, oh, I would live here. No matter how beautiful it was, right? Because it's just not, Comfortable. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Comfort. Yeah. So what you know. Mm -hmm. So I get that. Mm -hmm. But maybe, you never know. I'm going to travel a little bit more. This is a good one. Who gets scared easily? <laughs> Without a doubt, this one. Guys, I know she comes Woo! across as like tough, bad, and yes, she is, but this yeah. girl freaks for everything. <laughs> a sound, 
Like I, I it's mostly sounds though. That's it's the thing. all sounds all the time. She can't deal with loud sounds. She can't deal with sudden sounds. She can't deal with harsh sounds. <laughs> like no, but especially if it's in the dark. Okay, guys, like. Comment down below if you feel the same way. If I shut the light, first of all, I have to make sure everything's calm, cool, and collected before I shut the lights off before bed, right? So as soon as I shut the lights off, if I hear boom, I'm running, okay? Like I run and I don't care what I jump on because I'm going somewhere. But you know, the thing is, is that we, we never hear a boom in our house. We just don't. It is. We, we hear, or we hear like, <laughs> and she'll be like, That concludes our questions, you guys. They were pretty good, thanks. They were different than any of our other questions, so that was nice. Yeah, guys, that was really fun. I feel like it's nice to actually get different questions so we can speak amongst different things. Mm -hmm. And we really appreciate all of you kids who contributed. Yes, shout out to all of you. <laughs> That's my ghetto drum roll. That was better, but my throat's really dry, so just don't judge me, okay? With our Marsha, Miss Marsha, don't Ms. judge Marcia. me. Marsha, my throat is dry. <laughs> it's my favorite. You're so weird. Anyways, you guys, hopefully you enjoyed that little updated Q and A. If you made it to the end of this video, don't forget to like comment, subscribe, hit the bell if you nasty, and don't forget to tell your besties, of course, you guys. So everyone you know about Shelly and A because we're on the road to 2K, and we can't do it without you. And we're not gonna stop doing this YouTube thing, so you may as well hop on now before it's too late. Later, Later cats! cats.